Tonight marks an entire year in the case of a missing App State student. His name is Martin Roberts, and family, friends, and law enforcement say he vanished without a trace. His father, John, spoke to NBC Charlotte's Mike Hansen today in the hope that someone watching right now can help bring Martin home. So Mike is joining us live now with more. Mike, what did he have to say? He was very emotional when he spoke to us, Sarah. And this is the Gasson County Church, the place where members of Martin Roberts' family come to pray. And tonight, they're hoping for a miracle. First and foremost, is he okay? The only real clue to the whereabouts of Martin Roberts was the note he left behind. In it, he mentions changing. It's so vague and it just talks about, um, you know, not being happy. John Roberts, Martin's father, recalls the last time he spoke to his now 20 year old son. It's everyday stuff as well as future stuff. It was a very normal, regular conversation. Tonight, prayers and hope. One year ago, this App State student disappeared. He was last seen on a campus bus wearing a windbreaker, shorts, and a ball cap. Since that time, extensive searches on trails, nearby lakes, distant spots in Virginia and Ohio, and even vacation beaches have turned up nothing. Boone Police Detective Andy LeBeau described the handwritten note to us. Indicates that he's had some had some problems and, and um, so he's disconnecting. We know that somebody out there knows about this. Now, the podcast called The Vanished has picked up Martin's story, and Boone police have even brought in experts from outside the department to comb through evidence. But still, no luck. For Martin's father, the quest to find his son continues. If he's made a life choice that is different than that, then that's okay. Just let us know. So tough. Butterflies will be released in a short time as part of this service. Martin's father says he will never give up looking for his son. Reporting in Gaston County, Mike Hansen, NBC Charlotte. Emotional story, Mike. Hopefully he'll come home safely. Thanks for that report.